I brought you supper. Did you eat today? Loris? Thank you. Do you know how hard it is to drive a saw through two steel plates? You can't keep his armor with you forever. Why not? We should have buried him in there. <sighs> he wasn't a warrior. No, but you are. We have to think of our house now. The whole country's at war. It's my fault, you know. What's your fault? I put the idea in his head. He never even dreamed of being king until I started whispering about it. Oh, I think he dreamed about it. He never would have done anything if I hadn't pushed him. I told him he would be a great ruler. I promised him the throne and he believed me. He died because of me. He died because someone put a sword through him. He was a good man. He was a kind, sweet man, but he's gone now. He doesn't need you anymore. I need you. Our family needs you. I'll let you think I'm a fool. I have never thought you were a fool. I loved him. A trader from Carth told me the greatest pleasure comes with a silk cord around the neck, tied very, very tight. The reason so few people indulge in this exquisite pleasure, he told me, is the danger. A moment too long, and ecstasy becomes death. It is known. Who's come out to play? You think the king wants his little prize out wandering alone? I'm going back to my chamber, sir. You're almost a woman. The king will be having you soon. Taking you into his bed. My wedding night will be the happy. Stop that! You're hurting me, please, sir! Sir! I'm a dog. Remember? The king's dog. And you're his bird. Would you sing a song for me, little bird? A song about knights and fair maidens. Go on, sing. You won't hurt me. Sing. I don't know any songs. Not anymore. The game, what's going on here? Never mind, Imp. I was just taking a little bird. I'll see to the lady. Go and find a tree to piss on. Thank you, my lord. Lady Sansa. Sleep well. Is there anything special that you'd like me to do? A little dance, perhaps? Getting rather brazen, aren't we? Congratulations are in order on your new title. Thank you. And your new home, Harren Hall. You're welcome to come visit. Plenty of room. You're very kind, but I must admit the curse does frighten me. 
Did you know every house that's had the misfortune of holding Harren Hall has died out? But you're not the sort of man who believes in vengeful spirits. I would love to talk away the afternoon, but I'm afraid that I have a meeting with the Hand of the King. That's the actual Hand of the King. Tywin Lannister, not the mutilated dwarf you've cultivated as an ally. I'd hardly call him an ally. Ned Stark, the imp. <laughs> you do know how to pick them. It does make a certain amount of sense, I suppose. You are all brothers in mutilation, after all. Maybe he'll show you his, if you show him yours. When it comes to belittling me, you are rather limited. Of all the grotesques at court, whose wound is the least pleasant to behold, would you say? The Hound? Lady Ginya? No one's seen the imp's face yet, but my money's on you. <laughs> it's a sentimental weakness of mine. I always bet on my friends. His friends. I thought he'd want to question this one. What do we want with the baby crawl? His baby killed Corin Athan. He wants to be one of us. That half had that come to kill the friends of mine. Friends are twice your size. My father told me big men fall just as quick as little ones. If you put a sword through their hearts. Well, plenty of little men try to put their swords through my heart. And there's plenty of little skeletons buried in the woods. What's your name, boy? Jon Snow. Your Grace. <laughs> <laughs> Your Grace? Did you hear that? <laughs> From now on, you'd better kneel every time I fart. Stand, boy. We don't kneel for anyone beyond the wall. So, you're Ned Stark's bastard. Thank you for the gift, Lord of Bones. You can leave us. The girl likes you. You like her backs now. That way you want to join us. Don't panic, boy. You're allowed to want some ginger minch. This isn't the damned night's watch will make you swear off girls. I'm glad you crows think the fucking's a sin. There's more of us every year, and less of you. This chicken eater you thought was king is torment giant's bane. You're just surly because I look more kingly than you. Still. I can't believe this pup killed the orphan. Up here beyond the wall, mothers tell their sons, if you're not good, the half hand will get you. He was our enemy, and I'm glad he's dead. He was my brother once. Back when he had a whole hand. Colin always travelled with his best men. What were you doing with him? The Lord Commander sent me to the Half Hand for seasoning. Why? He wants me to lead one day. But here you are. A traitor. Kneeling before the King beyond the wall. If I'm a traitor, then you are too. Why do you want to join us, Jon Snow? I want to be free. No, I don't think so. I think what you want more than anything is to be a hero. I'll ask you one last time. Why do you want to join us?
We stopped at Craster's Keep on the way north. I saw... You saw what? I saw Craster take his own baby boy and leave it in the woods. I saw what took it. You're telling me that you saw one of them. And why would that make you desert your brothers? Because when I told the Lord Commander, he already knew. He'd known for years. Everything I thought I knew about the Night's Watch was a lie. Thousands of years ago, the first men battled the White Walkers and defeated them. I want to fight for the side that fights for the living. Did I come to the right place? We'll need to find you a new cloak. crossed the river to give battle, and we routed him. Nearly 400 Lannisters killed, another 100 taken prisoner, and the Mountain was lucky to escape with his life. He will think twice before picking another fight with the Tullys. Your victory at the Stone Mill is already the subject of songs across the river lands, Uncle. These songs will spread throughout the Seven Kingdoms, and hope will spread with them. Thousands of Northmen have already died fighting this war. They have no more use for hope. All that remains for them is justice. That is why we are all here, Lord Karstark. For your sons, for my father, for all those that have died at Lannister hands, and for those who still live under their yoke. I will not stop until they have their justice. This I swear to you. I need to speak with my family. If I may, nephew, I encountered a situation with one of my lieutenants at the stone mill, which may have some bearing... Why don't you shut your mouth about that damn mill? I don't call him nephew. He's your king. Rob knows I meant him no disrespect. You're lucky. I'm not your kin. I wouldn't let you wave your blunders around like a victory flag. My blunder sent Tywin's mad dog scurrying back to Casterly Rock with his tail between his legs. I think King Rob understands we're not going to win this war if he's the only one winning any battles. Now, there's glory enough to go around. It's not about glory. Your instructions were to wait for him to come to you. I seized an opportunity. What value was the mill? The mountain was garrisoned across the river from it. Is he there now? Of course not. We took the fight to him. He could not withstand us. I wanted to draw the mountain into the west, into our country where we could surround him and kill him. I wanted him to chase us, which he would have done because he is a mad dog without a strategic thought in his head. I could have that head on a spike by now. Instead, I have a mill. We took hostages. Willem Lannister, Martin Lannister. Willem and Martin Lannister are 14 years old. Martin is 15, I believe. Tywin Lannister has my sisters. Have I sued for peace? No. Do you think he'll sue for peace because we have his father's brother's great-grandsons? No. How many men did you lose? 208. But for every man we lost, the Lannisters... We lost need him. our men more than Tywin needs his! I'm sorry. I didn't know. You would have. Right here today at this gathering, if you had been patient. We seem to be running short on patience here. You know who isn't? Tywin Lannister.
Uh, my apologies, my lord, for interrupting your time of leisure. But I only want to discuss a few matters with you privately in advance of today's council meeting. <laughs> I often find that the council environment is less than hospitable to the principles of good governance. <laughs> you are no longer on the council by official decree of the hand of the king. Your son did conspire to keep me from my rightful place in the chamber, as well as affronting my dignity in other well, ways. In my absence, my son was acting hand. But you are the hand now, my lord. But I have not revoked the acting hand's decree. Oh, my lord, I, I must say that I, this is is most surprising to oh, Perhaps me. he had it right. Perhaps in the black cells you truly found your level. Oh, my lord. You, you, you cannot mean that. I. 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 There are times when I have trouble believing it myself. And why do you bother? <laughs> so many flowers, my lord. Each wanting to grow the tallest, bloom the brightest. And one by one, sooner or later, they all get plucked. <laughs> I don't want to be the tallest or the brightest. I only want to remain in the garden until my time comes to return to the dirt. Well, thank you for your poetic candor but I still don't see why I should let you back on my council. The King's Council, my lord. I could have you return to the dirt this afternoon, if you like. Since the time I convinced the Mad King to open his gates to you, I have served the interests of the House of Lannister unfailingly. Yeah, yet you still betrayed my son's trust. Because I felt he was acting against those interests, yes. And what have I done to earn this touching loyalty? You have built the strongest house. What happens when we are no longer the strongest house? By that time, I will be rotting beneath the floor of the Sept of Baylor, if you deem my years of service worthy of that honor. Well, in the future, you will serve me more actively, as befits a man of your vigor. Yes, my lord. Take those to the kitchen. I'll have them for supper. Yes, my lord. What else? A number of gold cloaks who deserted during the battle have filtered back into the barracks. Uh, hoping to be reinstated, my lord. Their cowardice put the king's life in danger. I want them all put to death. Well, they deserve death, your grace, without question. And yet, perhaps it might be wiser to send them to the wall. Reports from the Night's Watch suggest that the king beyond the wall has amassed a great army. The watch is severely undermanned. If the wall should fail... The wildlings will flood the north. Well, let them. Give Balin Greyjoy and young Rob Stark someone else to fight besides each other. Now, maybe we'll even send an envoy into the frozen waste to talk with this Mance Raider. Could be a job for you, little brother, if your current position doesn't work out. sleep.
You'll have a comfortable life in Pentos. Braun will escort you to your ship. You didn't really think it was forever, did you? These people, even the good ones, they use us as they please. And when we're no longer any use, they spit us out, find someone else they like. Look at me. You ever seen an old cell sword? No such thing. Every day, I'm a little bit slower. These kids coming up. We do all manner of madness with their blades. Moves I never dreamt of. We have to adapt to circumstances, is what I'm saying. Learn some new tricks. Come along, I've got a wedding to get to. Your Grace. May I bring you something? To help you sleep. Forgive me for disturbing you. Stay with me. Never betray me. Never. Did you miss me? Admit it, you missed me. Yes, it is good you are back. You can help us patrol the streets. Good job for you. <laughs> And how is Miss Sandai from the Iron of North? She's good. She certainly is. It's going well between you two? It seems like it's going well. If you got to um, the problem, it'd be difficult working through that one. Listen, we're friends. The time comes and you need someone to give her what you can't. She can close her eyes and think of you. You're right. It is a good thing the Queen has us back here helping you. The Unsullied are too conspicuous. Talk another. Sunday, he not. I wanted to speak with you. Why do you come? The Unsullied may be trained to face any enemy, but the sons of the Harpy have no face. This enemy does not stand and fight. They hide in the shadows and kill, and then return to the shadows. I am afraid for you. This one is not afraid. 
I did not say you were afraid. I'm sorry to have no fear. I said I was afraid. Why you are afraid? Why are you afraid? Why are you afraid? For you. I am afraid that something bad is going to happen to you. Nothing bad will happen. You will be careful. Careful? You will protect yourself. I protect Daenerys Stormborn. White Rat. The Unsullied who... I have heard they found his body in a brothel. I have heard more than one Unsullied has been known to visit Marine's brothels. May I ask you why? Why would an Unsullied go to a brothel? I do not know. I must go. it. That's it. Well, it won't last unless you give it more oil, especially in a humid climate. What do I give a shit if the blade lasts? What is the tool of your trade? I'm the tool of my trade. Weapons, armor, lucky underclothes. I don't get attached. Bad idea in my sort of work. Once saw a fellow in the Stormlands run back onto the battlefield for his favorite sword. Caught an arrow in the eye for his trouble. You'd feel differently about it if you'd ever had a real sword. Right. It's always different with true quality. Everyone who can't afford quality thinks quality is a myth. Well, you richness. Seems to me like I was pretty damn and close to affording quality before you came along. Seemed like I'd taken up residence in my own castle. A man like you. Six months into a life of leisure and you'd hang yourself from boredom. Trust me, this is far better. That's easy for you to say. I never had a life of leisure. I was looking forward to starting one. Why are we on a merchant ship? Why no Lannister sails? This ship's sailing to Old Town. We'll get off earlier, not far from Sunspear. Row ourselves to the Dornish shore in the night. You ever been to Dawn? No. I have. The Dornish are crazy. All they want to do is fight and fuck, fuck and fight. You should be happy to go back then. There's nothing like a good fight to get you in the mood for fucking. And there's nothing like a fuck-mad Dornish girl to clear your head for the next fight. It's how the two work together. Now, we're going to be doing a lot of fighting, I'm sure. Well, I am. But I don't imagine we'll get to stick around for the rest. Not after we've kidnapped their princess. We're not kidnapping their princess. We're rescuing my niece, bringing her back to her family. Your niece? I've been doing this sort of thing a long time. I'm good at it. That's why you're here. I know. Why are you here? Why not send 40 of me? Or an army? Unlike most folks, you've actually got one. Why not send them? Because I don't want to start a war. That still doesn't explain what you're doing here. It has to be me. If I'm putting something like this together, a one-handed man who happens to be one of the most recognizable faces in Westeros, he's not... It has to be me. You set your brother free, didn't you? I bet your sister didn't like that. Paris set him free. Well... If you ever see the wee fucker... Give him my regards. He murdered my father. If I ever see him, I'll split him in two. 
and then I'll give him your regards. Enjoying your stay here. Keep him warm. Enough food. Mutton's a bit tough. You know what I think we should do with you? Instead of putting food in your belly and a roof over your head. Probably something I wouldn't like very much. No, you wouldn't. You must no longer be in charge then. You were clearly here I, first, I, by I, all means. Okay. <laughs> For the watch. <laughs> After you, sir. Oh, thank you. <laughs> For the watch. For the watch. What? What is? What? What is, guys? What is this? What are you guys? Got ya. <laughs> <laughs> For the watch.